Hey there, Tinkercad friends. Today I've got training that helps you make a top view for a dragster. Uh, type in dragster and type in top view and it will take you to a template. Uh, it does help if you type top view correctly. You can tell that I messed that up. I'm going to try that again. Uh, B I E W. And then when you slide down the list, you will see. Uh, several people with names that are similar that's the user section but we want to slide down and find the design that I gave you which is right here dragster top view template from HL Mod Tech when you hit that once you can choose copy and tinker and that'll be a place where you can build your template for your dragster. Now our rules for our dragsters are the minimum length is 16 centimeters so I'm going to take this little spike and I'm going to line it up with one of the center lines on my grid so you can see it's up at this and you can see right now I'm one, two, three, four, five centimeters long. If you want to change that all you do is click on these corners and type in the custom millimeters you want. So I was 51 millimeters. I'm going to change it to 40 millimeters or 4 centimeters. It is currently, and if I hit the corner, it is currently 10 millimeters wide. I'm going to make it 12 millimeters wide by clicking and just pressing enter. I want to keep it on my grid so you'll notice that I moved over one. So I'm just going to tap it and put it to the left. I'm going to use the hexagon for the next piece of my body. So I'm going to drag my ellipse. Notice these are all 0.25 millimeters uh, thick. What I'm going to do is when I'm done, I'm going to 3D print this design so I can trace it onto our block of wood. So that's why I made them so thin. I'm going to nudge this into place. Notice I'm lining up that center again. And then this time, I'm going to make them as I experiment, I'm going to just try uh, an even number. I'm going to try 20 for my width. And then I'm going to nudge it so that it's where I want it on that line. So there's my 20 enter. And then I'm going to stretch it out. And this one I'm actually going to just do by hand by grabbing that handle. I'm going to go all the way out to 40. And then so this piece joins up the way I want, I'm going to nudge it forward so it makes that shape. When you've got your two parts the way you want them, you can grab them and then group them so you can see what the shape will really look like when it comes together. So doing a real quick check, that's one, two, three, four, five, six centimeters. So I've got 10 centimeters left. I'm gonna choose a rectangular section and I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna make it uh, the minimum is 10 millimeters wide, so I'm going to make it 12. And then I'm going to make this section of my car uh, 40 millimeters across, uh, in length. And then, like I did before, I'm going to use the arrow key to nudge it to where I want it, making sure that I've got it lined up on this center line so that it is split evenly. I'm going to just double check the alignment by grabbing both pieces and using the awesome align tool and then centering them like that. Notice I was a small amount off. I'm going to manually grab this and stretch it out to this centimeter marker. Uh, my rectangle will be a, a weird size but it'll be lined up uh, so that it's at you know working towards that 16 centimeters and then I'm going to take my two pieces and I'm going to grab them and I'm going to group those and call that part of my design final. I like my design to be blue, so I'm going to kick, click on blue. I am currently at 11 millimeters and remember, or 11 centimeters, and we've got to be at at least uh, 16. So now I'm going to use this shape and I'm going to bring it back and add a cool swept fin. I'm going to nudge it out so that it comes right to the edge and I'm going to stretch it back so it goes um, 
40 millimeters. I got lucky and it just went like that. I'm going to do control D and I'm going to duplicate it. And then I'm going to use the flip tool so that it's aimed the other way. And line it up with those arrow keys. I'm going to stretch the body of the car back by simply grabbing it and ungrouping it. I could add another rectangle in there. Uh, remember they are all 0.25 millimeters thick. But I'm going to stretch it back and then I'm going to go all the way back to here. So now I've got room for my wheels. I'm going to make sure this actually connects. Notice I have to move in a millimeter so that it does. And I'm going to have to do the same thing here. And then finally, I'm going to take my cool design, and I will be able to group it. And I have created a top view of my dragster that is aerodynamic and pretty darn slick. And this would be 3D printable, so you could trace it onto our block of wood, and we could cut it out and actually race it. So have fun, see what kind of cool things you can make, and I hope your dragsters turn out epic.